Welcome back. The first lecture shows us how to open a trading account on Altcoin Trader. And in this second uh, video tutorial, I'm going to show us how we can verify our account because account verification is very important when you want to trade uh, digital assets. It's a part of the FICA rules. Though on Altcoin Trader, this, um, the company said we can trade while our account is under verification. But I normally advise all my students not to trade until your account is fully verified because sometimes when you put money in your account, and the verification document you submitted is not okay with the company. They won't refund your money and they will keep your money on their platform while you are still struggling to verify your account. So my best advice for you is to make sure your account is 100% verified before you start trading, before you put your money there. Okay, let's go straight to the to this uh, uh, lecture. After we created... Um, our account if you don't know how to create the account please go and look at how to create how to open uh, account uh, the first video on this DVD okay now after login you you see welcome and it will welcome you you see your name here then you come to profile then you click open your click on profile and when you click on profile you see all what they are requesting from us for our account to be verified, first name, last name, uh, our ID, passport, what, what, then the cell phone, the physical address, we have to upload identity document, upload proof of resident, proof of resident can be your lease agreement, but most of the case, I advise all my students to use a bank account, because your bank account, uh, we have your residency address, and most of the uh, most of the uh, trading platform, they believe that bank have done their due diligence to verify your address, so it makes things faster. Then here you see verify your account. Please upload proof of identity and proof of re residential address, which is FICA document. Then when you click here, uh, let me see. Oops. Okay. Uh, so when you click here, we must see what we should do. Upload your ID document. We come here, we click here, which is the first uh, thing they are requesting from us. We click here. Okay. We click on our ID document, then we click here. Then it takes us to where we keep our ID document on uh, our system. Like mine is, I think I have my document on my desktop. So you pick your ID document and uh, you open it, and you can see it's uploading, then successfully upload. Then uh, you click on your proof of resident, you do the same thing, check for it, and click and open it. Then it's gonna upload. I, I won't do this because I've done it in the past. So that's how you upload all the two documents. For the faker, then after you upload that, you come here. Uh, now, now you don't need to uh, enable the second factor authentication. We enable it when we start trading. Then you come here, you manage to update your email. This is the email we are using, so I don't need to update it. Then you come here, you put your phone number here, and when you click on this update cell phone number, they're going to send you OTP one-time pin, then you use that one-time pin to to fill in the the, the, the pop-up. Uh, so, okay, let me put it. Uh, let me put one of my e phone number. Then when I put the phone number, then I click update the cell. Then the OTP is sent to me on my phone, and I can use that OTP now to verify my account and which is 8339 uh, according to what they sent to me but in this case I will not do how you then you click submit option but in this case I won't do this because I'm just showing you how to open your account I already have account then after that we come here if you want to change your password and you update it 
Then after that, you will see that your personal information updates or update. Your username has been locked. You can't change it. Then account number. Yeah, all trading platform will generate their own account, unique account number for you when you first register, which is what you are seeing here. And we are going to use this in depositing and withdraw money from our altcoin trader in future when we start trading. I will show you. Here you put your first name, and you see once you enter. Once you enter your, you cannot change any field. Please make sure you do it correctly. So you can't change because of security purpose. Your last name, then you put your ID number or your passport number. Alternative phone number, if you want to put two phone numbers, then you fill in your addresses. Everywhere they put this red little star is very important. You must fill it accurately. Then what you do, you update here. Then after you update, you come to update bank details. You put your bank name here as it was written on your bank account. Then here you select bank account, only bank account in South Africa, only in South Africa. Then the bank type, if it is check or savings, then account number of your uh, of your bank account, you put it here and you click update. And remember, they said it, please note for security reason, changing or adding new bank detail will place a 24 hours hold on withdrawal when you change or you update your bank details you are going you are not going to withdraw money from that your account until after 24 hours and this is how the uh, your account is going to be verified they will receive your FICA document and receive all this information and from there they will verify your account and you are good to go to trade like i said make sure the account is 100% verified before you put money in your trading account. Thank you for your time and let's meet in the next class.